Hi everyone, so I'm Sam Manuel. I'm a naval architect. I started by doing the Mini Transat and uh, like everyone doing the Mini Transat, basically you, you don't know much before getting into that and, and you learn like uh, the Mini Transat is really the, 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 the best theory in my opinion to, uh, to, to, um, to increase your level of knowledge about uh, boat building, about uh, boat speed, about uh, running, uh, running uh, some, a program through one or two years, etc. So uh, I've been through that process basically and I really enjoyed it. And first I get into that because I was completely uh, in passion with those boats, the, the 650. And it, it was kind of something that because it's small, you think you can do it. And, uh, and so that's what I did. So uh, I built the first boat, did the Mini Transat, and that first boat was, there was plenty of stuff to, to change, to modify, to, to, to make it better. So I built a new one, and then I did the second Transat, and, and this I repeated three times. So I did three Mini Transat. Yeah. Probably around uh, 15 or yeah, something like that, 15. Oh yeah, sure, I remember the boat. It was built by Milan Kolacek in, uh, in Czech. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a great boat. It was, uh, it was lovely built by, uh, by Milan and, uh, and Milan had some, some great results with, uh, with that boat. And it's cool to, to see that, uh, that there is still some passion around, uh, around that and that uh, actually uh, you guys have taken that, that boat and that project forward. What we're doing is that we're adding some spatula in the bow, <coughs> which is now becoming a very common thing. We modified uh, some class 40s like that. And, uh, and also another Mini Transat. And we really feel that there are some, some gains to be made, especially when we're sailing uh, uh, downwind with waves or deep, VM, or deep uh, reaching. Yeah. yeah, of course, like it's in, in constant evolution. Uh, like uh, the, the way we use the boat, is, uh, is a little bit different each time. Uh, each time we increase the performance and we increase our understanding of how the boat dynamics is. And uh, because you're going faster, then you're facing new, uh, new aspects that can be uh, optimized. And so every time it's changing a little bit because uh, the, the design are evolving, but also the way we use the boat are changing. Ah, it's a tricky question because the, um, I mean, obviously, if you put uh, Nicomatic, which is a fully foiling boat, into its best condition against uh, a more classic uh, Mini Transat, like there is no competition. Like uh, uh, once you're foiling, you go much faster. Nevertheless, uh, the condition uh, where you will be able to, to, to fully fly are quite limited in a, in a, in a transat race, for example. And, and this, before you actually do it and, and, uh, and uh, optimize it, you, we don't really know how efficient it will be. But having said that there is a, a skimming mode which is super super fast and super efficient as well so if all goes well and there is no technical issue etc i mean it makes sense that the the foiling boat will be will be will have a a great advantage yeah uh, to have a complex boat is more difficult to to get the full potential of it Urosh boat is a much simpler boat and on a much simpler boat it's more easy to achieve almost full potential. So you have to balance that basically. 